Hi there, my beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. If you're new here, welcome. You've just clicked on one of my WTF Wednesday videos, which stands for Weekly Tracking of Finances, in which we go over the past week of my online expenses, and we will replace that money with the cash in my cash envelopes that we've managed to save just for those purposes. So if you've ever been curious on how the envelope system works with online transactions and digital spending, well, this is the video for you. I am by no means a professional. However, this is what has been working for me. My channel is primarily based on my budgeting journey using the cash envelope system, building hefty savings and financial security for myself and my family. I am a wife of 22 years and I have three kiddos that are all in the teenage range. Actually, one just turned 21. I still call him a teenager. That's a whole nother story. I'm in, I'm in denial. So I have three teens if anybody asks. <laughs> Anyway, so if this is something that might interest you, or if you're looking for some motivation or inspiration for your own budgeting journeys, or if you're simply looking for some entertainment, then welcome. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my thriving community. We're growing day by day, and I hope to continue to inspire every single one of you on your own walks of life. If you're already one of my current subscribers, hi, how you doing? I hope you guys have been having a good week so far. And without further ado, let's get started. So, like every WTF Wednesday video that I do, I need the star of my show my expense tracker so we've got november's expense tracker this time it's all dolled up and ready to go we're going to be working with the week of the third through the ninth if you've never watched one of these videos this is how i track my expenses online expenses only so this doesn't include cash sales or anything like that so what i do is every wednesday i will go over the previous week of expenses that i've managed to do online this works really well if you already have an account buffer of some sort this could be stuff that you've already just put in there say your one of your envelopes built up to a thousand dollars and you're using a prop note in that envelope and you have now a thousand dollars sitting there that could be considered as a buffer as long as you make sure to replace that money after you use it however i do have an account buffer specifically for account buffering so i spend money and then i replace the money every wednesday so that i don't just spend money i didn't plan for does that make sense and I also will be using stars. You don't see any on this page yet, but we might have some this week. But um, I use stars to congratulate myself for no spending. You know, and I make a goal for myself at the beginning of each month of how many no spend days I can get away with. This month's goal, as usual, is 12. I'm very nervous to ever bump that up above 12, especially towards this time of year when we're buying a lot of Christmas stuff. So... Anyway, I hope that that makes sense. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. But we're just going to go ahead and get started with tracking my online expenses. Starting with the third, nothing. We spent absolutely nothing. And by we, I mean me because my kids did spend stuff. And when they spend, they give me their cash and I put it right into my back to the bank. We've got this whole little system going, which is great. One day I will give them their own bank accounts. But for now, they're using mine and then they just pay me their cash and I put it in my back to the bank. The system is working. It's fine, but I don't track their expenses. So for me and my hubby, we did not spend any money that day. So I got a star to congratulate myself. First of the month. Yay. And then on the fourth, can't be said the same thing. I did make some purchases. So I'm going to start with this. I'm going to say JB Day because I do not want to disclose where I bought it or he might know. 
So that was a total of $47.71. And then also on the same day, we had a gas station. I don't know about you guys. Is gas like crazy where you are? It is getting insane. Absolutely insane. This was for $72.75. I don't know what is going on, but something needs to change because... Otherwise, my husband's going to have to start driving my car just to save on gas. He's already spending over $250 every two weeks. This is getting ridiculous. All right, so with that being said, that is everything on the 4th, and we're going to go ahead and move on to the 5th. I did have a Christmas purchase. Not going to say what. I'm getting so excited for Christmas, guys. So excited. And I'm like so happy to be able to get all of my Christmas done like earlier rather than later. And then I did have a Publix purchase. Now, I'm going to have to do something I have never done before ever in the history of this budgeting journey. <laughs> That's 83, by the way. I don't know if you can tell. I've never done this and I'm really like hesitant to do it, but I don't really have a choice. So... I'll explain what I mean after this. All right, so the first star, I mean the second star is going to be on the 6th, and then we have another star on the 7th. So we did not, ugh, these stars, I tell you what, when you first get nails put on and it's so awkward and you're like, how do I do stuff with them? And then you get used to wearing nails, and then you take your nails off so you can let your nails breathe for a hot minute. Then you act like you don't know what you're doing with your life. <laughs> I feel incompetent. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. On the 8th, I did have some dining out purchases. And rather than just write this all in three se separate transactions, I'm going to add them up and just write it in one. Let's save me some writing space here. That's $53.99 at one place, $9.62 at one place, and $87.26. So that's $150.87 in total. I'll just write dining out. We went out an extra time. I know. <sighs> Tell me about it. And then we couldn't decide... We couldn't agree on where all to eat, so we ended up going to three different places. I don't even want to talk about it. It's ridiculous, but we spoiled ourselves. No idea where this is going to come from, but we're going to figure it out together. All right, and then also on the 8th, I did do a Sam's Club, and when I say I did, I'm saying my husband, but we are a unit, so they're for me too. All right, so Sam's Club, that's going to have to come out of groceries as well. And then that'll be it for the 8th. And then on the 9th, we did have one purchase for Christmas. I'm getting my Christmas done. I'm loving it. For $44.07. Oh, I missed a Christmas. There was two Christmas purchases. I'm glad I looked this over. This one was for one nineteen thirteen. Okay, it's two different places. So Christmas is being handled, guys. All right, so that's it. We've got us three stars starting off well for November to reach that goal. I love that. Now, what I like to do is I like to plug all of these into my tracker here. I've been doing this for several weeks now, and it is just helping me categorize everything and make sure that I get everything accounted for. So, I'm going to go ahead and write these out really quickly. I will speed this up for you, of course. So, enjoy watching that part, and then we'll come back and we will start the process of unstuffing some of these envelopes.
Alright, so, yeah, I don't know, this is a hot mess, guys. I don't even know where dining is going to come out of. We're going to have to take it out of some random envelopes. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Alright, so, let's start with groceries, since that is in Revolving Fun Binder. And I already know I'm going to have to do something I've never done on this channel, never done in my budgeting journey so we'll see how it goes because groceries I only have a hundred and sixty dollars and for total groceries I know it's over 160 so let's go ahead and calculate what we're looking at here we have 83 and then we have 85 74 so that's 168 74 that is clearly above 160 so what I need to do something I've never done before is we are going to have to write ourselves an IOU of eight dollars and seventy four cents now I would take this out of my um, account buffer and I could easily definitely could do that but I want to get out of the habit of using my account buffer for you know you know what I mean? I, I want to get out of that habit. It's a bad habit. I don't want to just waste all of my account buffer away doing these overages. I want to be accountable to myself. So we're going to write ourselves an IOU. And this means that when we get paid on Friday and I stuff my cash envelope for groceries, then I will automatically be taking out about $9 worth from that. So yeah. So we'll go ahead and we will take out the 160 we have in here and we will place it, replace it back with this IOU, sadly enough. So that's 150, 55, 56, 7, 8, 9, and 160. Now if you don't know why I'm using prop bills, it's because I keep all of my grocery money online. Everything else I use real cash with other than, you know, like when I reach milestones like 500 or or $1,000. But for groceries, it's always going to be in prop bills just because I do most of my grocery shopping online. So it just doesn't make sense to pull cash out to stuff it in here and then go redeposit it so that I can um, spend it. And this just helps me to track it. So that's why it's prop bills. So now that money was already in the account, but now I can just remove this and reflect what we really have, which is negative $8.74. <laughs> Funny. Okay. So we have managed to account for the $83 here and the 8574 here. All right. Dining out. I don't even know. I don't even know. We're going to have to look for some envelopes that we can pull this from. And I'm not going to take it from my revolving. I can already tell you that. So let's look through my short term and look through some of the envelopes we have going on in here. See if there's something we can pull from to kind of take care of that. Um, yeah, so let's start. I don't want to take from here. Home is a possibility. We are looking for $150. I think I can take clothes. Let's do clothing. Let's do one... 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 25, 30, and 31. We'll do 131. And that leaves four whole dollars in my clothing. And it's fine, you know. I didn't have any real plans to buy any clothing 
anytime soon. It was for the eventual thing. So we now have four dollars. Oops. We now have four dollars in our clothing. At least we had the money. So um so that's 130. Let's count this. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 110, 20, 25, 30, 131. So 131 is that, but it would be a, a, another $20. So let's, should we take it out of this or, no, you know what? Since we did eat out and stuff, I'm going to take it from date night. So another $20 from date night. So that leaves $20. Minus 20, that leaves 20, and it is the 10th. Okay. So, now we have accounted for that full one, 150, 151, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 1. So, 151 accounted for. Makes me sad. But, you know, is what it is. So we took this from clothing and day and night. I will. This is what happens. This is, at least this gives you incentive to not do unexpected spending for once. Unless you want to have to take it out of other places. All right. So that takes care of that. Then we've got Christmas, Christmas, car maintenance. We'll take this for the gas. It is what it is. And I don't know what we're going to do. Do I have car maintenance in here? I think that I do. Yes. Okay. So car maintenance, we're going to be taking 73. And I know already I'm going to have to make some change. So, I'm going to break up one of these 100s using my, I know I have 250s in here, and my home reno. So, we'll take those 250s, put the 100 in here, just so we can make some change. So, now we have change, and we're going to be taking... 73, so 50, let's take that one, 70, 1, 2, and 3, perfect. So that leaves $160 in car maintenance. And that should be 50, 70, 1, 2, and 3. Perfect. Okay. So we've managed to get that. Now Christmas and Jay birthday. Christmas will be in long term. All right. Christmas. Ooh, we need to figure out how much that is in total. We're going to have to make some change out of prop notes. Okay. 104.82. And then 119.13 and 44.07. So that's a total of $268. 268 from Christmas. All right, let's see what we got going on here. All right, one, two, and three. So I'll make change from 300. So 300 minus 268. So I need $32 in change. So I'll take this out. And, and now we have $32. I never got to use the $2 bills. This is a perfect opportunity. <laughs> so 2032 
and that is what's left there. So 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 20, 30, 32, 33. So 1,633 dollars. And we took out 268. And I'm not going to write Christmas because obviously it would be for Christmas. Okay. So we've handled that. We did the 104.82 and the 119.13 and the 44.07. And now, last but not least, my son's birthday which is in my kids binder and his is all in 100s for his birthday so I'm gonna have to make some change here which they have given me because they've all kind of purchased things online so I already have some money in my back to the bank so let's see if we can make some change from that so his gift was $48 right and then 100 minus 48 that's 52 as some change. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. We'll do 55. It's fine. All right, so we'll put 100 into my back to the bank. I mean, I could go find some more change for ones. Let's see, what do we have? We have these three, we have four. <laughs> well, this is all going back to the bank anyway. So if I put this five here and I give myself, let's see, one, two, right? That covers the 73. Okay, we got it. So, for change, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, which is perfect. And then adding that to his 400, so he has 452 left for his birthday, which is this upcoming weekend. <sighs> He's going to be 21, guys. My teenager is going to be 21. <laughs> Don't come for me. He's still a teenager. <laughs> what do we say? Look, I'm so... Okay, for, it was 40... 48, we'll say. Okay. <laughs> okay, alright. I'm, I'm getting sidetracked here. I apologize. Alright, let's get to the nitty-gritty. Alright, so we have accounted for that... So we've counted for everything that's good. We have managed to take nothing from our account buffer. From groceries, we took out the full 160 that we had left. So now we have a negative $8. And what did we say? $8.00. negative all right and then Christmas let's see we took out a total I should have wrote this down when we calculated it up but it is okay 104 82 and 119 13 and 4407 so we took out 268 268 dollars and then we said left was Let's just look at it. $1,633. We're getting there, guys. Now let's count this up. So total from sinking funds, we took 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 50, 70, 80, 90, 
200, 210, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27. So 227 is what we've taken from sinking funds. So let's calculate this up total. See what we've managed to spend this week. $708.09. Okay. So, total spent this week $708.09. Let's see if we've managed to cover all of that. We took $160 from our grocery buffer. And we're going to go ahead and do our IOU, $74. And then we have our $268 that we took from Christmas. And the 227 we took, okay, what? Okay, guys, I figured it out. <laughs> so when I was doing my exchange with my son's birthday, I put his 100 in my back to the bank here because I used that as the change. So 45 uh, of that. 47, sorry, 47 of that is supposed to go towards this, but it's all inside of here. So, keeping that in mind, adding that in um, here, this should be 272. So that's why all that cash wasn't here is because I had put it over there. Whew, I was freaking. I was freaking out, guys. You just don't even know. I had to pause. I had to pause and be like, what am I doing wrong? Okay. It happens. You know, it happens. It is what it is. But at least we have everything covered. And this will be going into my back to the bank with the other money so that we can go and deposit that. Or in this case, since we get paid in a couple days... I'll probably just repurpose this cash. So you will probably see this cash if you notice details like this 600. You'll probably see this cash again, but I will subtract this amount from what I withdraw from the bank. So it will be deposited one way or the other. I'll just repurpose this. All right. So this goes into my back to the bank and we are good with that total and that means that we have spent for our purple week seven hundred and eight dollars which is pretty good I will be very honest I am not doing good with the groceries I need to make a plan to do my grocery shopping more regularly and do full bulk grocery shopping like I normally do because I'm running into the situation where we're going back and back or ordering online several times and it's like eating up the money more somehow. Whereas if I pre-plan meals and everything, then I, I don't know. I have no idea. If you guys know, then you know. But anyway, so we did pretty good. We had um, one want. We did have some Christmas and birthday purchases, so that's fine. But most of it was neat, and that's... What's a, that's what I'd like to see anyway. All right. So we are all done. I appreciate you guys for watching. And I hope that you enjoyed it. I mean, this is me doing this just to keep myself and my family accountable to the purchases we make. And making sure that we are returning that money back to our bank. And that we're not just blowing our money on frivolous things. And this is very needed for me. So if you're here and you're watching and you're not subscribed, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you're here and you're subscribed, thank you for watching with me. I am just doing this to keep my family on a budget. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in the next video, which will be on Friday, our cash stuffing of our very first paycheck of November. I will see you guys there. And as always, until next time, bye.